This is going to be <clears throat> molecular stoichiometry, where stoichiometry is a word that means um, basically keeping track of things uh, in a chemical reaction. But beyond that, for us, it's going to mean that it involves uh, mole to mole conversions. using coefficients from the balanced reaction. <clears throat> and uh, as we look at the problem statement, it says O2, oxygen if you will, can react with the element magnesium to form magnesium oxide with the formula MgO. <clears throat> The balanced chemical equation is zero, uh, O2 gas plus 2Mg uh, solid react to produce 2MgO. And what we've talked about is that this uh, chemical reaction has two meanings. First, it has a meaning in terms of atoms and molecules. And second, it has a meaning in terms of moles. And we're going to use the mole uh, the mole meaning, or the mole uh, English translation, if you will. And, it's, uh, and in particular, that's because it says if we have 4.14 moles of magnesium reacted, how many moles of oxygen would be expected to react? And so uh, from the coefficients, we'll construct our mole-to-mole -mole conversion. And that says that for every one mole of O2 reacted, because even though there's not a one there, it's implied. Two moles of magnesium will react. And we translate that into a mole to mole conversion or a conversion factor by saying one mole O2 reacted, which we don't write, per two moles Mg reacted. And now that we have this as our unit conversion factor, we can start with our moles of magnesium, 4.14. Uh, yeah, let's put it right there. We can use our unit conversion factor, 2 moles magnesium for every 1 mole of O2. And uh, just to be clear, we're only using formulas that are in the actual reaction. That's how we know it's O2 and not O. And then we can multiply across, divide by the numbers that are on the bottom. And if we do, we get 4.14 divided by 2. We get 2.07 as the number. And as our final units, moles of O2, moles of oxygen.